All right, here we go again, another Testimony Tuesday. So happy if you've uh, stopped for a few moments to hear what the Lord has to say on this day. Um, just want to welcome you again. In these last days, and I'm going to say that again, in these last days, God has called each of us to be a peculiar people. And it tells us that in the Bible that we are to be a peculiar people. Um, but the scripture that I'm going to use today is very familiar. I'm going to use it for from a different version. But I want to pray first. So if you will, join me and uh, let's take a moment and just give God some praise. Father, I thank you. I praise you. This this uh, message that I'm going to give today is humbling. It um, It's a little serious as well because here in this day and time in which we're living, we need to become more vigilant uh, in every aspect of our life, but most importantly, spiritually. Um, we're to be separate from this world. So God, I pray that you will use me as a light shining because that's what you should you told us we need to let our lights shine um we need to stand bold for christ for you O father by the power of the holy spirit because that part of you the holy spirit is the comforter that brings us strength god i thank you for this opportunity to speak to those that will view this video and Lord, I pray that it will reach their hearts, that it will stir in their souls, and that it will create an attitude of thinking about where they are with you and paying attention to what's going on in the world. Does that mean they need to watch the news every day? No. But if they'll read the Word, I pray that this will be an encouragement to get into the Word and study and 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 look at what's happening and then relate it from the word to actions and things we see going on today. Lord, it's an important time. And God, I thank you again and I praise you. And again, I pray for those that will be viewing, that you'll just cover them, give them strength and bless them in whatever way they need. I love you and I praise you. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. I'm going to go to, again, like I said, a familiar scripture. Uh, but I'm going to use a different version of the Bible. Sometimes we read those different versions, and I feel as though speaking to you, this version, uh, which is the NIV, will help me be more clear to some of you that may be looking at this today that haven't really read the Word, and then not everybody reads the King James Version. It doesn't matter as long as God is is in it, as you read it, He'll speak to your heart. Um, just because the words are written a little differently, but as you grow and mature, you'll understand and, and you'll be able to set aside those versions that aren't right. Um, but the NIV is a trusted one. So again, bear with me as I, I read this verse of script, a few verses. Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercies, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice. Holy and pleasing to God, this is your true and proper worship. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. Good is His good, pleasing, and perfect. Romans chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. Uh, I probably may have used that scripture already, but God, as we read the Word, He sends us different messages, different meanings sometimes through the same scripture. Uh, some of you re uh, watching this video already know that. If you've been reading and studying the Word at all, you can read the same section of scripture so many different times that God will use it to speak to you in a different way. Well, I've been given an urgency today to speak to you. One of the things that again stood out here in what this word has for us today, it says, in view of God's mercies to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice. 
Now, when you talk about the word sacrifice, you can go in either way. Well, I've got to give up something or maybe taking the life of an animal is the way they done sacrifice, of course, in the Old Testament. But here, the first part of what I said, giving up something, not taking a physical life is the sacrifice that we're talking about. That that was done and over when Jesus died on the cross. We we didn't have to look to taking those physical sacrifices for atonement and for different things in our lives. Now, Jesus took care of all that on the cross. He died so that you could be given this mercy, that you could receive grace. So here we actually, if we're going to choose to serve God, if we're going to choose to follow Jesus, to try to be like Jesus, there will be sacrifices that we need to make in our life. Some of them, some of the things going on in our life that need to be sacrificed, God will help take them away, and, and it will be kind of easy. But there will be things in our life, the ones that really hold us back from God, that we're going to have to work to sacrifice. It may be television or something we watch on television. It may be the type of music that you, you listen to. It may be uh, just... Something as popular today as TikTok, you know, those things. There's there's things that consume our time, and they steal time uh, again, steal time away from us. Uh, and that, when that does, it takes time that we could use to reach our hands out to God through study, through prayer, through simply talking to others. Um, there's so many different things God has for each of us. Uh, you know, we're we're different people we're all we all have our own character and God instilled that in us and uh again I may have said that before but God has just stirred in my spirit we are living in the last days we cannot be like this world we need to be transformed and at the end of this scripture it says by the renewing of your minds how do we renew our minds wow that's a big question how do we renew our minds well, it is a big question, but many of us renew subscriptions all the time. Uh, whether it be going and picking up a medical subscription, whether it be something as simple as a subscription to, which is odd in these days, to a magazine, but it may be a subscription to something you have on your phone, uh, some kind of app that you have to pay for monthly. Um, but we, and I said all those things because so many times we have to continually renew our minds the word tells us uh you know if you read it and study it it says that we may have to make things new again we may have to do the first works over so it may be where we have to get on our knees sometimes uh several times a week and ask god to get us back right to put us back in a place where we're right with him because it's easy to fail it's easy to Get conformed to things going on around you. I myself started a new job just last week. And I, I have to go into that job with the attitude that if I'm going to be a man of God, I can't conform to what may be going on around me. I have to go in and set as an example if I'm not in a godly place. I have to, I, God may have allowed me to take this job so that I could go in and reach others, be that light. So I, I would not conform but maybe by my nonconformity, somebody would be transformed. And so I go in there and I, I sacrifice uh, getting involved with the jokes maybe or uh, the backbiting or, you know, things that go. If you've worked in a place, you've worked with other people, you've experienced that. Uh, I know I've never worked in a place where we didn't. I did not see that go on. We're human. Come on. We're human. And... Uh, Trust me, it's easier to conform so many times. It's easier to run with the crowd than it is to stand out. Because uh, when we stand out, sometimes we get a bull, bullseye put on our back. We may not be liked for it, but that's okay. That's okay. When we're doing what we're called to do, when we're doing what we're supposed to do, when we are, we've had our minds transformed by the renewing of, of them through Jesus Christ, by the Holy Spirit's conviction, and, and God our Father through those entities of Himself uh, bringing about the strength that He builds in us, which that character is already available because we are created in His image. So I wanted to use this, this short time just to remind you this morning, be a living sacrifice. 
be a living sacrifice. I challenge you as I'm challenging myself today, fast some more. And fasting don't always mean food. It don't always mean food. We should do that. We should take time and, and deny our bodies food and water sometimes to, that allows God to know we mean business. When we sacrifice the most important things to our body to draw closer to Him. But we may need to sacrifice something we're doing that's taking our time and spend that time with Him. I challenge you to do that today. I encourage you because, friend, we're living in the last days. Now, I believe, and this is my belief, so I don't want everybody to run around saying, well, he said, it, you know, this is just my opinion, but I believe and if, by studying the Word that we're living in a time where Jesus Christ can come back at any time and rapture this church. I don't want to be left behind if he does that. We're living in the days now where many of us may not see mortal death. We could be called away. Wow! Could you imagine that? Stop. Just stop for a minute. Think about that. We could be called away. We, we are very well possibly living in that time, in that generation where we could be called away. Now where would you want to be found if God was to look at Christ and say, go get your bride. I'm ready. It's time to get this thing wrapped up so that we could spend eternity, God's eternal plan for us. And unfortunately for those who choose not to serve and believe, we I'm not going to get into that today because I want to encourage you. Hopefully you're here listening. Hopefully uh, God's calling you. So again, I'm going to wrap this up now by just saying this. I love you. I pray that this word has reached you in a positive way. And uh, again, just to invite you, if you get an opportunity, come and join us at Shiloh PH Church, 2271 Ultra Mill Road, Godwin, I believe is the address. Um, we would be more than happy to just welcome you in. I promise you, you'll be loved. Um, wow. Just come be with us if you can. If you're viewing today and you can't, that's okay too. Remember, that's okay too. We just want to reach you however we can because. We want to see one more. We're looking for one more. Come to know Jesus as our personal Savior. I love you. Shiloh PH loves you. Uh, and we just hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you again for watching. And God bless you.